Hey guys, so this video I'm gonna uh, take advantage of some good weather and go outside and do some photography uh, out of the natural light and I'm only going to take a few things with me that we're going to use but I'm going to do a few different examples of some photography out there. Uh, one in one of the examples I've got uh, Jason Voorhees on a dirt bike and I actually I used I usually use NECA but since this dirt bike is 112, uh, this Mesco Jason is 112, and so he's a perfect fit, really, uh, almost for this dirt bike. Um, I'll link in I'll link in the description down below uh, where you can buy this dirt bike. It's like 10 bucks if you want to use it for your toy photography, uh, and you want to buy it on Amazon. Just click on the link down below. Um, you know, it'll take you right to Amazon. I'll get a little commission for it. Uh, but 10 bucks and you can put your action figures on this thing um, you know I held it in place with some wire um, and I created some really cool shots with that uh, and a water bottle um, you'll be able to see some of that so uh, you know and I'll put that picture up right now I'll let you take a look at that picture it's pretty cool uh, it's pretty simple all that was used was an existing water puddle piece of wire $10 dirt bike and a squirt bottle uh, you know, and so, uh, and that was pretty easy. There was a little post-process involved in it, a uh, little Photoshop, but you don't need to do that part of it. Uh, so, and that was one of the shots I did with Mesco Jason. Um, and I'll probably put that image up on my website too. Hey, and, and that's another thing. If, uh, if you got time, click, uh, go on over to my website, www.insightfulimagery.com. I'll put the, uh, the card up now. Check out some really awesome, uh, toy photography, some really awesome uh, t-shirts and things like that. Uh, I've got some, if you notice, I've got some cool new Jason prints, Pennywise, I've got Jace, uh, Freddy in the electric chair diorama that I built with sparks flying off his head, uh, Jason up here in the doorway in a diorama that I built. Uh, get on over there, insightfulimagery.com, check it out, man. Even if you don't buy nothing, just get over there and check it out. Uh, I'm building up the page also. Uh, for the types of things that I use in my toy photography. So if you find something on there that you want to buy, uh, you know, uh, click on one of the links and, you know, you'll find this over there. You'll find Loom Cubes. You'll find all kinds of other stuff too, uh, you know, that you can buy on Amazon. It's stuff that I actually use and recommend. So, blah, blah. That being said, uh, you know, and, and, and today's video was really just about going outside, having a good time, showing you a few different types of photography that, that, uh, you can do. Uh, I did a really cool one with Jason, uh, my ultimate Jason NECA figure. I'll put that up on the screen now. That's me and Jason. Yeah, hard to believe, right? He's walking in the park. Bam! There he is with a shovel. I'm like, what's up, dude? Hey, can I get a picture? Of course, you know, he's like, and I'm like, hey, I ain't got no props with me, man. I don't have no knives or nothing. You think I can borrow one of yours? Get me a butcher knife. Got a cool picture with him. <laughs> anyway, uh, so and then I did another picture with him um, in the loom cube with using the loom cubes in a dark part of the park with um, some trees and some wooded. Uh, the roots were coming up through the trees and stuff. And I just posed him there uh, once again. You know, I used this piece of wire. Uh, you know, and I posed him there in the dirt. And uh, of course, it ain't gonna work now because it ain't no dirt. But you know, and and it holds him up. And uh, I posed him with some loom cubes in his hand, and I posed him with a shovel and his foot going into the shovel, and some just some really cool pictures. Anyway, uh, you know, I just wanted to say, um, if you haven't done so, like and subscribe. Um, I'm putting up content all the time. I appreciate you guys, all the new subscribers and old subscribers. Uh, follow me on IG, um, insightful underscore imagery. That's my IG and my website, insightfulimagery.com. Click on uh, toy uh, photography wall art and click on toy photography, you know, t-shirts and check out some of those images and stuff over there. You, I think you guys will really dig it. Uh, anyway, that being said, uh, let's get into the video. What I want to do in this particular scene right here is really simple. It's just Jason on a dirt bike uh, rolling through a water puddle. It just rained. Uh, we got some moisture sprinklers or something out here in San Andro. And I want to take advantage of some of the uh, reflections and some of the water puddles that are here. And I have this really cool dirt bike that I bought uh, on on Amazon, and I'll link it in the description down below if you guys want to buy the same one. They're cheap, ten bucks. Uh, but you can get some really cool pictures with some action figures. Um, anyway, so in this first scene, I'm gonna show you how I set this up, and it's really super simple. Uh, and uh, well, let's get to it. So real simple. Here's the shot. Jason's on a 
dirt bike and I'll link that dirt bike in the description down below if you guys want to buy one on Amazon they're like 10 bucks okay there's a piece of wire behind him he's in a puddle I've got a spray bottle so I can spray up some water on him we don't want to dry Jason in a water puddle that'll look not too realistic my setup is this I want a tripod 200 millimeter lens real simple it doesn't get any any easier than this I've got a set of extension tubes that I use if you choose to uh, I'll link these in the description down below they're Kenco uh, you see my other videos you know what they do I've got the 12 number 12 millimeter on here just gonna allow for some really nice compression and make the shot look really good I've got my spray bottle wireless trigger Jason's right here I'm just gonna sit back and trigger a few shots I'm in bra uh, I'm in bracket mode so I'm gonna do one over one under and, and one properly exposed and uh, I'm gonna sit over here and, and pick the best set of three that I like and we're gonna shoot water on the scene and, and make it look like there's some action in there okay here we go and I want to shoot the water from the direction the motorbike is coming like this okay let me take a look and see what I got couple more there we go take a look at the image here guys what I want to show you is this is where before I sprayed the water just a regular image here's where I sprayed the water I liked it I'm gonna go ahead and edit it and now here is the edited version really quick really simple post-production in Photoshop here I'm gonna do some voiceover because the part got really loud uh, you're gonna see me just you're gonna see my big ass in front of the screen sorry about that but um, I'm what I'm trying to get done here and show you guys is that it's okay to explore the scene move up and down change your shutter speed here's an unedited unedit image uh, for you to see just explore the scene don't be afraid to get up move around change your composition get high get low make adjustments it's what it's all about don't worry about dirty knees here's another unedited image you can see I've got the wire there a track of uh, dirt behind him I did that with a ballpoint pen uh, but that, that's the idea explore the scene it's better to have a lot of images to choose from when you get home than only to have a couple and be like damn it here's another one a really cool one this is the one I ended up editing uh, and you'll see that here in the next minute I just put some wire under it uh, and I just explored the scene until I got something that I liked uh, that you know and, and I had options and that's what it's about going out having a good time don't think man I suck because I'm not getting this the first time all these people in these videos are taking these badass pictures uh, and they're getting it in like one or two shots man they're not you know they're they're editing and and showing you what they ended up with you know here I'm showing you some unedited images and I'm showing you how I get up and move all around and, and what the process looks like. You know, I just want you guys to have a good time with this like I do. I'm trying to share some good information and, and let you see how it's actually going down right here. You know, and, uh, you know, we're going to move on to some other part of the video now. And uh, let's go. Hey guys, I want to show you some really cool uh, use of the Loom Cube today. Here I've got Jason Voorhees. This is an X7 inch figure and I'll post the link to Amazon if you choose to buy him. Uh, he's an awesome figure. Seven inch NECA, uh, Ultimate Jason. Anyway, I've got him here with a shovel, but the shovel is from another figure, a uh, reanimator figure, but I, I, I wanted to use it here in this, uh, in this scene. I just come out and do some natural light photography. It's just some old trees with these old roots and stuff coming out. Just to make a really cool little cemetery type scene. So, and I and I'm gonna you, I'm gonna I'm gonna make this look like a nighttime shot in the middle of the daytime. And uh, and I'll show you how I do that and uh, using the loom cubes to get some really cool dramatic lighting. Uh, all right, let's get to it. I'm starting with a dark frame, which means that I'm gonna have I'm stopped down at f11. Uh, dark frame. Actually, what it means uh, is you're underexposing the frame so much that no light gets in and the frame is entirely black that's what a dark frame is so to create my dark frame i'm starting at f11 at 1 200th of a second in a shaded area okay i want it to look dark the only light i want to come into the frame is the light that's coming from these two loom cubes okay jason's in this rotten wooded part of a of a tree with the roots hanging out and that looks really cool my two loom cubes are set up one on each side and i do that because side lighting creates drama 
and there's a lot of texture in this scene and I want to get some of it and there's a lot of texture on this awesome NECA Jason figure and I want to bring some of that out we're going to use the loom cubes as the light source we're shooting to make this look like nighttime in the daytime okay let's go look at the back of the camera see I'm at ISO 100 f11 1 200th of a second now I'm set to sunny but I'm going to change that in post uh I mean, it does, it's not really going to matter. These loom cubes are a little bit blue in their light, uh, which is okay because I want it to look a little blue. You can either do this in post-production and and, uh, and bring some blue some blue light in there and a curves adjustment layer or something or a hue saturation color adjustment layer, or you can put some blue gels in front of these uh, loom cubes also. I'm going to do it in post, okay? So at any rate, those are my settings on the camera. Um, let's get in live view and lock focus on Jason's face. I've put some wire behind Jason to hold him. Uh, he's a heavy figure. The wire that I use today you can buy at Home Depot. It's a rebar tying wire and uh, for heavy figures on a windy day I recommend it. There we go. We're locked in on focus on Jason's face. Now let me show you the back of the phone. This is my loom cubes. Yeah. Mission control they call it. We're going to turn all the loom cubes on right here. <laughs> okay, maybe. Yeah, sit there, phone. Good God. Uh, okay, I want to turn... Uh, I'm going to start with one loom cube only. Uh, so we're going to go over here. I'm going to turn one off, and I'm going to leave one loom cube on. Okay, now that loom cube that's on, I'm going to adjust the brightness. Okay down and this is gonna we're gonna kind of take a picture and see what it looks like we're at 19 percent okay so let's let's uh take the shot that's actually gonna be pretty dark still I think let's bump it up a little bit to 30 percent let's take the shot and see what we got on the back of the camera it's still dark so let's go all the way a little bit more in brightness let's do by using the sliders we'll go up here to say 70 percent okay take another shot and I just want to be able to see the side of Jason here. Okay, let's lower my shutter speed down here just a little bit. Let's look at the back of the let's look at the back of the camera. Okay. My dark frame is f11 180th of a second, ISO 100. And I've got the loom cube. I've got one of them on, on the left side, camera left, Jason's left. We're gonna take a shot, and I've got the slider set at 85% take a shot see what we got on the back of the camera okay that's pretty dark still might move the loom cube let me let's adjust the loom cube actually I think some of it is not hitting Jason let's do this let's prop it up like this there we go that's the awesome thing about these they're so portable man you can you don't need light stands you don't need to set up C stands <laughs> you put a rock under the damn thing man and you're good Okay, let's take another shot. Zoom in on here. Okay, that's still pretty dark on Jason. I need it a little bit brighter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bump my ISO just a little bit. Go to 200, ISO 200. Now we're getting a good start. What I wanna share with you guys real quick is it's okay to make adjustments out there. It's okay to have to fix things. And what you need to be able to know how to do, though, is fix the things, is know where the settings are on your camera, is how to use the settings, things like that. It's okay to have to adjust on the fly. That's what photography is. Just know how to do it. Look at this Loom Cube Jason. My dark frame was just a little too dark. <laughs> okay. So now we've got that shot on Jason on that one side. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn the other Loom Cube on. Uh... There it goes. Camera right, the loom cube is on on Jason, and the brightness is set at 50%. Now let's adjust the height of that loom cube. We'll just put a little stick or rock under it. It don't matter, man. I just want it aiming up a little bit on him. Here we go, to create some nice drama and side light on this. Okay. Okay, let's see what we got on this. Let's take the shot. And there's my phone.
Okay. Image 0562. We got some good drama going on there for sure. Jason's definitely, you can definitely see him. So, okay, my dark frame was a little dark. So what I want to do, remember ambient is controlled by the shutter speed. We're going to go down to 150 the second. We're going to keep the loom cubes and everything set uh, at the current brightness level they are. We're going to take the shot again. I want a little more light in this scene. There we go. Here we go. We're, we're getting there now. Looking good. Oh, yeah, that's definitely got some drama in that. I want to be able to see that shovel in the front. Oh, man, that's looking great. Image 0563. And we've got all this in like three shots, okay? That looks really nice, man. I, I really like the way that looks. Okay, so just to recap. Just to recap, I took, uh, I created a dark frame. I started at F11, one two hundredth of a second, okay? Um, I set my loom cube up. I adjusted the brightness on the loom cube on camera left from my phone. Even at its maximum brightness, it was still too dark. So um, I put the loom cube on using my phone app on camera right, slid the slider all the way up and moved the loom cubes closer to Jason and my dark frame was still too dark. So all I did in that case is I did two things. I adjusted my ISO, I put it up to ISO 200. That helped, but I found it was still too dark. So what do you do in that case? Shutter speed controls the ambient. Take your shutter speed down. I did it first at 180th, then I did it at 150th. I like the result I got at 150th, and I'm going to put that through Photoshop and uh, do some local adjustments and post it. You guys are going to like it. And Loom Cube, man. Awesome. See, I just put little rocks and sticks under them to raise them up or adjust the, the, the height of them. They're totally portable, totally awesome. Uh, I'm shooting a, a daytime cemetery picture of Jason Voorhees in the afternoon. Uh, a nighttime picture of Jason Voorhees in the afternoon, I should say. He's got a shovel digging into the ground. He's doing his thing. Don't bother him uh, or he'll be under the dirt.